Are you thinking of joining your local Chamber of Commerce but not sure what benefit it holds for your business? Find out today on The Money Factor. Welcome to The Money Factor. I'm Ian Varley, CEO of Eagle Business Credit. Delighted to have with me today Pam Khan. She is president of the Cherokee Chamber of Commerce. Pam, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me today. Pleasure. Thanks for coming in. And we've been taking, as usual, a lot of questions online about your business and your money and how to grow your business. Let's go ahead and take that first question. Why is it important to join the local Chamber of Commerce? And what are the benefits to help grow my business? That's a great question. You know, if you're a small business nowadays, you really can't afford not to know your local Chamber of Commerce. They can connect you in so many different ways. Uh, at Eagle, we're a member of the Cherokee Chamber. That's our local um, county. And I have to say they've connected our business in a lot more ways than I expected. Pam, I remember coming to our first meeting, and it's one of the things I've talked to you about today, I know. You went around the room and you connected everybody in a way that just resonates with me. Tell, tell me some of the things that you do for people. What the Chamber does, first and foremost, is provides a foundation for businesses to grow yeah. and to develop and to make those connections. Yeah. And the meeting that you're referring to was the Coffee and Connections that That's you it. came to, mm -hmm. learning kind of the Chamber 101, if you will, learning more about the organization. And so that day it was trying to show everyone in the room that just because you don't necessarily think that you need to do business with the person next to you at the given moment, yeah. the next day, the next week, six months from now, you might need the services or the products that that particular business offers and you have a connection back to whoever exactly. that company is. So our mission, to give you the formal mission statement, yeah. is to, of course, be on the, the lookout for what businesses need, we'll okay. just say that. Mm -hmm. But the actual mission statement is to promote business and the community. Yeah. So thinking about that, it's very important to promote both sides yes. while expanding the economy and enhancing the quality of life. Okay. That's really what all businesses are doing. Yes. They are promoting themselves, they want to promote the community where they are located, yeah. they want the economy to expand so that their business is economically viable mm -hmm. and then if the quality of life is also enhanced in your community, people want to visit, they want to relocate, and they want to do business with exactly. you. Exactly. It's so successful that's what we're doing. for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think, again, the message has to be that you don't know who is in your local community if you're not a member of a chamber. And it's not just being a member as well. Uh, right. You have to participate. You know, Agreed. you can pay those dues, but really, when you're writing that check, be committed to it. Go to the meetings that they have. And, and Cherokee have impressed me with the range of different things that they do. And again, if you're looking to grow your business and participate in the community, like Pam said, there really is no substitute to finding out about your local chamber. They can enhance your business and help you grow it. How do I know if I'm joining a good organization? Simply do your research. All chambers will have a website. You can go online and have a look at the range of services and meetings that they hold. Uh, but I think, again, a really a sign of a good chamber for me will be how they welcome new members. Pam, tell us some of the things that Cherokee do. Sure. I want to go back to something you said a minute ago, too, about paying your, and my staff will not believe I'm going to say this word, <laughs> dues. Yes. It's an investment. Yes. You're investing in Cherokee County through the chamber. That's true. And you're allowing us to take those funds and reinvest them on your behalf mm -hmm. in programs and services and initiatives to help the entire community right. to become more prosperous. Yeah, that's a so, better way of looking at it, really. Absolutely, yeah. and so that's why, really, you will ne never hear me use that word, right. dues, because you can pay dues to be a part of many organizations, mm -hmm. but we want you to invest with us right. and feel like that you're making a good investment. Now, I completely understand from the question that was raised, how does the person know that they are joining the right organization? Yes. Yes. Not necessarily the right organization for them, but a quality or high caliber organization. Mm -hmm. I would think that if you ask most any chamber member, if not all chamber members, they would tell you that there's been some benefit they've received right. from being a part of our organization. There has to be. They're yeah. Exactly, or yeah. they're not going to reinvest. Right. If you ask our volunteers who are 
those key volunteers, let's say from our board or our ambassadors known as our chairman's council, mm -hmm. they're involved in multiple chambers. And so they typically can find those strengths yeah. about us that they want to add to the list of strengths that you've already identified. To improve your offering overall, right? Correct. Yeah. So from the standpoint of what is it that we do? What do we give that new member? What do we do for our membership as a whole? Mm. New members are definitely important to the organization and they help us continue to grow. But those returning members, those seasoned members are also vital as well because right. they know where we've been they know what we're doing, and they have that vision of where we're going. Yes. And I think that's important too, that we bring back, just like you want returning customers, we want returning members. Exactly. And so it's important for those new members to have the opportunity to interact with those seasoned members as well. So what can we give someone? Mm -hmm. The opportunity to network? Well, so do other organizations within the community, yeah. but not necessarily within the same audience that we provide. Okay. So the opportunity to network, the opportunity to connect yes. and be engaged in what's happening in the community. Our tagline that accompanies our logo is connecting, yep. creating, and cultivating. Love it. So we are connecting business and community. We are creating economic viability and value, and mm -hmm. we're cultivating member engagement. So if we can continue to connect and create and cultivate, our membership should continue to grow exactly. because we're providing, again, that foundation for businesses and organizations to plant the seed, for that seed to take root, and for them to grow and be, be strong and be a contender with other businesses and organizations Perfect. within the community. Yeah, you couldn't have said it better. I mean, that to me, if, if that doesn't, our viewers out there, if that doesn't show you that Cherokee County is a quality chamber and why we're a member, I don't know what would. Um, go ask that question of your local chamber, see what the response is. If you get an engagement like Pam just gave us here, then you know you've got a good chamber. Uh, again, look beyond your four walls of your business and see how you can get engaged with your local chamber. It can only help benefit your business. How do I get the most out of my membership? How do you get the most out of your membership? You have to be involved. You have to know what activities they have. Try and bring it down to what you think will benefit your business directly. And if you're not sure, talk to the chamber and, and they can guide you. Do you get that question very often? We get that question all the all time. All the time, right? We get that question from somebody that walks in the door and is curious about what a chamber is. Yes. Maybe perhaps they had a family member that when they were growing up was involved in a chamber in the community that they were from, but they don't know what that chamber did right. or what a chamber does today. So we get that question from the folks that just walk in off the street into our office. We get that question via phone, email, you name it. We've been asked that question. You must get an all, all sorts of questions, right? Absolutely. <laughs> the phone rings all the time. Yeah. The emails are forever coming in. But what we want the person to think about is how to make that membership individualized for them. Mm -hmm. Just because you find benefit in a particular activity or initiative, say through committee activity, whether yeah. that's education, workforce development, governmental affairs, our Going Green initiative, mm -hmm. which is the only grassroots, environmentally friendly initiative of any Chamber of Commerce in Georgia. Wow. So whether you find your place mm -hmm. through committee activity or you prefer simply networking, which is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Right. And me using the word simply networking, networking is not it's easy. Yeah. When you come to our events, whether you're a morning person and you want to come to Good Morning Cherokee at 7 a.m., mm -hmm. or you come to Power Hour at 10 a.m., mm -hmm. or Meet and Eat at 11.30 a.m., or Business After Hours at 4.30 in the afternoon. You have choices. You, you have choices yeah. because you might not be that morning person. Right. You don't yeah. want to be there at seven. Is. You yeah. want to be there in the afternoon. So you find your place. So whether that's through committee activity, whether that is through networking, whether that's through initiatives that are specific to having that connection back to the community, things like education and workforce, you have to find what works for you. Right, exactly. Also thinking about the size and type of business. If it's a smaller business, you're not necessarily going to be able to leave your shop right. or leave your storefront where you have a team here at Eagle mm. that enables you to right. be out. I can do and it. Exactly. Yeah. Not everyone has that. No, you're right. So you have to find what's right and is the right fit mm -hmm. for your business based on how much you can be involved. What we also remind people is 
even those volunteers I mentioned from our board and our ambassadors, yeah. the Chairman's Council, we don't pay them. No. So they need to go to work. Yes, they exactly. have to go to their offices at some point. You can't always be at chamber events yeah. or the employer might begin to look at that as you're doing more what for the doing? chamber. <laughs> exactly. But you're really, you are working. Right. You're working on behalf of your business. We just benefit from that volunteerism. But you also have to think about it from that perspective that you can't be away from your office or your company all the time. Yeah, exactly. So you find that balance. Yeah. That's why events are at different times of day. That's why committees meet on a quarterly basis, not a weekly or a monthly basis. Yeah. That's why the initiatives that our board of directors chooses for the given year, or for example, in our 2020 vision, our strategic mm -hmm. plan, so they might be a vision or a plan for more than a year. Why they choose those is specific to what Cherokee County is about, okay. what creates that synergy in our community, what Cherokee County is looking for from a growth perspective, mm -hmm. and how we can be a part of that. The Chamber is going to celebrate 50 years yeah. of existence in 2021. Awesome. 50 years is a long time mm -hmm. to play a role in the growth of our business community. Businesses like yours get to be a part of that. Right. So no matter if it's a one-person show or an industry with a thousand employees, there's a place for everyone at the table not to mention nonprofits, retired individuals. Yep. There is somewhere that everyone in this community can connect yes. with the Cherokee County Chamber. I love it, yeah. Well, Eagle is blessed to be in Cherokee County and have access to all of these wonderful things that Pam and her team at the Chamber can deliver for us. But again, if your business doesn't have such a strong chamber, look around. Maybe you have counties next door that have people that are more involved, like the Cherokee Chamber. Again, we're very fortunate. There are so many ways you can get involved with your local chamber. Uh, do investigate it because it will only help grow your business. Well, I think that's all the questions that we have time for today. Pam, thank you once again. Always thanks good to see me. you. Good, very good to see you as well. Thanks, Ian. And thanks to everybody uh, who's been online and looked up hashtag the money factor. Keep sending in your questions. You can find us on a range of platforms now. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode of The Money Factor.